Hi guys, I've had a request to talk about myself on the channel because I'm actually diagnosed ASD myself. Um, I was diagnosed about 10 years ago as an adult. Um, I did have quite a difficult childhood in that I didn't really get on socially. I had limited friends. Um, I used to have people say things like, are oh, you just in your own little world? Because I couldn't follow uh, conversations and pick up on little gossipy things. And um, I wasn't, I just wasn't quite there socially. And I actually ended up leaving school at the age of 14 because once I got into secondary age, I didn't cope with it at all. Um, and then I ended up doing a lot of things um, via distant learning until I eventually went to university, to an actual physical university, um, where I studied nutrition and dietetics. Um, as a baby, I wasn't delayed, but I was on the late side of normal for some of the milestones. Um, but I did talk at the normal time um, and there was no obvious issues when I was a baby, basically. It, it was, it became more obvious once I was out of primary school, really. I think looking back on it, you could probably see it in primary school age, but it was really obvious by secondary school age in me. Um so how it's affected me, um, it's definitely made uh, social events and things very difficult to deal with over time. And it's mainly uh, things like following conversations and it's the social cues and not knowing when to speak and things like that. And it can actually make... Um, social situations very difficult and you don't sort of realize it until you're in the situations. As I've got older I have learned how to keep a conversation going, come up with topics to speak about and things like that but it's all non-intuitive. I have to really think about it to keep a conversation going and so it does um take a lot of effort so you can sort of feel like it's going to be really tiring going for a social event so you might avoid them so that's certainly an issue I have um and then obviously having two autistic children one one severe uh Harry severe George we don't know about yet but he looks like he's going to be quite severe, um, mainly because he's showing real obvious signs at 14 months. Um, and in general, what we were told by the paediatricians is that the younger they are with, with obvious symptoms, the sort of more severe it is, basically. So we're preparing ourselves for him to be quite severe. Um but in terms of me, yeah, so that's really my story. So I I would be um, ASD level one, which is what they would do it now, but olden days are Spurgers. Um, and um, diagnosed as an adult, well worth it, I think. If you are somebody who thinks they might be autistic it is definitely worth getting the diagnosis even though the waiting list in the UK is about a year um, but it is really worthwhile because it just gives you access to more support and more understanding from employers and things like that so um, I would definitely recommend it so that's my story thank you